Bitcoin, the kiss of death. You wanna know everything about the crypto world, what's going on with this and much more? Yes, then smash that like button because it's time for crypto news fun on the right. Crypto a tope. In today's video, we have to talk about the kiss of death. What's that? Well, we learn about it with Matthew Highland, and he is uh, talking about these videos from Alessio Rastani, which I recommend you a lot. I leave you the link in the description so you can learn everything about it. But right now, I'm going to sum it up for you. So basically, this is something uh, we're talking about Standard & Poor's 500 and why we will talk about the stock market and not Bitcoin. Well, because we know that even though we would love to have a decoupling between the stock market and Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, the reality is that they go together. So what happens with the Standard & Poor's 500 might affect Bitcoin. Remember, I'm not expert. This is not financial advice. We're just learning from the experts. So they say that in the Standard & Poor's 500 and other um, instruments, financial instruments, you can have this situation where you are below the moving average, the EMA of 21, and then you go up again to kiss it for a little bit, and then you go down. If you go down lower than the point where you start going up, going up to kiss it, then you will fall for good. That's something that happened in 2001. You can see here, we went below it, we kissed it, and then we go so low. Also in 2008, again, we go below it, we kiss it and we go down for good. So right now we are scared because we just went down, kiss it and we are going down. But this is a monthly chart. We are not yet below the previous point. So maybe we don't have the signal yet. We have to wait for it. We wait learning. And also in this video, the last one, he talked about this. Uh, he told us that we also have like two indicators right now. One is bearish and one is bullish. So with one, you can believe that we are going down is this one. Uh, it has to do with some spread cross whatever. I don't understand that just was the video. But every time we are above this line and we have this possible sign, the kiss of death, uh, then we have it. So uh, this would be so bad because we have the indicator right now too. But with this breath, uh, somehow uh, how the market is, the health of the market, uh, if it's uh, oversold or overbought, well, now it's the other way around. So this is bullish. This would mean that we are not going to have that sign and the market is not going down. So as always in Fun on the Ride, you end with the idea that Bitcoin can go up and down or remain boring flat. Yes, that's fun on the right. Also, some people, for example, Seth is telling us that he found some moments in the standard push 500 well, uh, where the sign occurred, but finally we didn't go down. So I think two of these four uh, examples he found are legit. Uh, so as always, uh, we always take all the ideas and patterns, etc., with a pinch of salt because, well, those are ideas, hints, but you uh, can just uh, trust in this kind of information. Also, remember, you have fundamentals, you have news. This is not just a technical analysis. At least, I believe this is a lot of variables we have to understand in order to be able to, to see where the market is going to go. And after that, no one knows for sure what's going to happen. Also, we went to TradingView uh, uh, here. You can see uh, this idea for Bitcoin, so it's, it's different. We are far below uh, that point right now. But in the past, we've used uh, this moving average to determine the bull market. You can see here, once uh, we uh, went uh, above the line, we went to the next all-time high. Also here and here, we break it and we went up for good. But from time to time, here and here in these two crypto winters, we had something similar to the kiss of the, you might say. So we'll see about that and also playing with TradingView or with Atani, where you can do things that you have to pay in TradingView to do. You can do them for free and the app is free, link is in the description. So I was playing with the exponential moving average of 50 and I found that for Standard & Poor's 500, we just are in that line. And sometimes in the past, 
it has been the bottom for Standard & Poor's 500. If we go uh, long ago, you can find also some other examples. So maybe we are just in the moment where we're going to have the kiss of death and go down, or we just found support in this line. So we're going to uh, look at this in every crypto news uh, starting right now. Also trying to learn about this pattern, the kiss of death. I found that the experts uh, don't really agree if we have to use the 21 or maybe the 50. So uh, as always, a pinch of salt. And we have other charts if you want to be optimistic today. So Crypto Hamster just brought us this one. And he said, if you go to uh, Atani or TradingView and you use the Hensing Ashi candles, we've talked about that in the past, you can see that every time we find in the monthly chart a nine in the TD sequential, this, that's the moment where we start going up. It's true that it took us four months past time we had that nine, and also four or five months here in 2015, 16. So maybe we are with this indicator like four or five months away to the uh, all time high. We'll see about that. This is trading view. I just used it there and I'm gonna follow this in every show to see if it's true or not. And finally, with Will Clemente, uh, he's telling us also that we might be a little bit flat going down right now, but afterwards, we are uh, pursuing the next bull run with this indicator right now. After months of waiting for just the fourth time ever, Bitcoin's short-term holder cost basis has fallen below its long-term holder cost basis. This indicates a bottoming process. The next cross to watch for is a bull cross of the short term back above the long term. So the next time we have the green or we have to be in the green a little bit and the time it's over, we will start going up. We'll see about that right now. We're going up in the daily chart in Bitcoin and we are above the line we shouldn't miss, but we did past times. So what do you think? I'm bullish long term. I'm bearish short term. I believe we still need some time for this right shoulder in order to then go down to visit the $13,000 range. Do not trust me, I have no clue again, but watching uh, past videos, remember that 45% down we can go cause of the Fed and also cause of the RSE. Watch past videos. And today we had a very bad day in Asia stock market, which just went really down. And it's crazy that Bitcoin is going up. I don't understand as I don't understand almost nothing. The dollar is going down, but it just went up crazy. And our friend Bob Lucas is telling us that it will go still up because with his theories of four year cycles, right now we are in a moment where it can have uh, still steam to go to this line and then maybe go down. If you want to know about fiat currencies, well, the GBP uh, is going down. The British pound is having the worst trading day since July 4th of uh, 1776. It is crazy. CEL halt futures trading in GBP, the British pound, due to extreme volatility. Currency continues to crash. Uh, and that's where Jameson Loops is telling us there's no guarantee that the value of Bitcoin will continue going up. But however, you can be sure that the value of fiat will continue going down. Also about adoption for Bitcoin, we have good news here. They are telling us that uh, in Stanford, if you want to go and learn there, well, the course about cryptocurrencies and blockchain is really more famous right now. And everybody wants to study it more than computer science course. So everybody into crypto, Milton Friedman predicted Bitcoin back in 1999. We listened to him. So that I think that the internet is going to be one of the major forces for reducing the role of government. The one thing that's missing, but that will soon be developed, is a reliable e-cash, a method whereby on the internet you can transfer funds from A to B without A knowing B or B knowing A. Crazy things, 1999, who is Milton Friedman? Well, he's a Nobel Prize winner in 1976 and one of the most important figures 
in liberalism, learned about him, and also uh, this is something that Satoshi Nakamoto would have loved for sure. And a, a fun fact is that the day that Satoshi Nakamoto acquired Bitcoin.org, somebody, maybe himself, acquired Netcoin.org. So they are saying that maybe Satoshi was considering naming Bitcoin Netcoin in the beginning, but finally that night he decided that Netcoin wasn't the word, that Bitcoin was better, and he just dropped Netcoin. How to stop Bitcoin? There's the book, and it's telling you just one thing, you can't. So uh, JP Morgan CEO, James Diamond, uh, suck it, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what about Ethereum? Ethereum is right now uh, trying to find support in $1,200. We'll see about that. Remember past videos about our predictions. And we are happy to know that we also have right now a rainbow chart, not only for Bitcoin. And uh, remember the controversy about the purple color. But right now we have it for Ethereum too. And we are in the lower side of the rainbow. But eventually we could go up. I wish, I wish. Remember, you have all these charts and information in our website, fanontheright.com. Vitalik Buterin is telling us that now everybody loves Ethereum, everybody loves POS, and he's expecting that said cash and Dogecoin will be the first to come into POS in the future. Also here, you can see the first transaction uh, with Ethereum. The washer is going to say that the detergent is going low and then it's going to go and place a request to the retailer. So you can see that the detergent low level is being detected here. It's gone and checked the smart contracts in the background and it's placing an order. The retailer has got this detergent reorder request with the device ID and the smart contract reference. So all this is being done on the blockchain. So what's going to happen next is that uh, there's going to be a digital payment again over the blockchain. This is a digital payment that has come in from the uh, washing machine directly to the retailer. Taylor. So all this is again using the contract terms. So what you're going to then see is that the uh, there's an order acknowledgement that is going back to the washing machine. The washer is going to say that... Crazy, crazy. Uh, this was a $200 Ethereum uh, wasted in detergent. And a lot of things has changed since, uh, since this uh, probably first transaction uh, in Ethereum recorded. And what about POW? Well, it went down, then up, and now down again. Do you believe that still a reason uh, for POW Ethereum to exist? The market is in the extreme fear 21. We are in the red trying to go green, and the bubbles are again in the red. But we are so happy that IOTA is going up 8%, and I don't understand right now why. Please tell me in the comments below why this is happening. The best is IOTA, the worst Terra and Lido, which is not good. Uh, also good things for Polkadot. If you like Polkadot, now you can use USDT, the most important stable coin in Polkadot after Kusama. So right now we have Kusama, Ethereum, Solana, Algorand, Tron, Omni, and Nier with Polkadot where you can use USDT. Also about uh, Loon C, uh, we saw the bubble going down. Uh, they say it's Doom is the most unprofitable crypto among the top 100. And listen that uh, the ex, uh, the founder of Terraform Labs do know that uh, was responsible of this summer fiasco in the crypto space. Now uh, uh, the Interpol issued a red notice against him. What about Cardano? Well, Cardano is in the line 0 0.45. We want to break this line and it's not happening right now. Uh, hopefully we don't go down. Join us in Cardano on the right, the official pool. We just validated two new blocks, 47. So thank you very much for that. $26 million in the DeFi ecosystem. I don't have a hack today, but be careful because you know everything is a scam until proven over otherwise. And I just found how the hackers train in the gym. So here you can see them, uh, how uh, they train, how to take your money from you. <laughs> so crazy. Uh, they don't want to be short. And also they have to be sneaky. So they train how to do that. What about Apple and NFT ecosystem? Well, they like it, but they are going to charge you 30% commission fee in the developers and in the backend too. So that's no good. That's something that it's gonna stop 
the development because it's so expensive. But be careful because there are a lot of competitors. Disney now is hiring transaction lawyer for aggressive NFT and DeFi plans. Good for Disney. And be careful with China. They are replicating everything. Now they are replicating Elon Musk. They have two copies of them of him already. Technology in fun on the right. Here you can see a marvelous application where you can see how to build your house with this uh, projections and so you decided beforehand so then you can you don't have to tear down walls etc also so good this technology this daddy that just created an elevator for his child and he is so happy with that i love my elevator daddy yes i do and that's why he loves so much his dad every time he comes back from job uh they play together and it's so beautiful to see how he loves him so much more about technology in whatsapp now you have you can have your uh, state for uh, pictures and videos but also voice uh, states so this is how this is gonna look and everybody that goes there will listen to you and how you feel for the day and work work for today homework uh, did you know that these maps that we all use are wrong what do you mean wrong i mean that south america is not that small that united states is not as big that greenland is not as big everything is a lie what yes everything is a lie and you can check that with this application it's free i leave it in the description and you can see the real size of the countries it's not possible to uh, put a 3d uh a sphere, how to say a sphere, a circle uh, into a, um, a flat uh, surface. So that's why uh, the map is not correct. And they did that because of um, traveling in the sea in the past, because they needed a, a hundred degrees or 90 degrees, something uh, that have um, sense in the future. And right now they are considering changing it so if you want to learn the real size of your country in comparison with others, I leave you the link in the description. It's totally free. As you can go for free to Nuevo Leon digitally, the 5th to 7th of October 2022, I'm going to do that. If you are friends of Binance, I leave you a link in the description and it will be 100% free. If you want to go there also because you are a writer, you know that you have 40% discount if you want to go to Nuevo Leon. Also, Binance, you have in the Twitter account, you have to follow them because you have all the times contests and draws. Right now, make a picture and win some money. And also, if you tell everybody about Binance with the Twitter Binance Espanol, you can have a 50 BUSD, which is so good. Also, if you don't want to go to Mexico, Nuevo Leon, you can go to Zaragoza, 26, 27 October. Remember, you have a 25% discount if you want to go there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to do a crypto news live. And if you use fan BDZ, you will be able of having a 25 uh, discount immediately. Don't miss that out. And now we'll talk about animals in the crypto space. We are all penguins. We find other penguins. We chat a little bit. And uh, we, after we talk, uh, then we, uh, we separate, we go away. But what happens if somebody is doing things wrong? If one of our friends goes with the other team? Well, one of us has to go there and tell him, hey, man, it's this other way. Let's go. So funny about penguins. And also, I want to tell you that penguins have nails. And if they have, what well, they jump all the time. They can walk little by little. What do you think about this baby crypto uh, friend is learning everything about Ethereum and Bitcoin? This one just learned how to be driven in the crypto world. So funny, so comfortable for him. This one is just crazy watching everybody in the crypto world and all the things we do. And the guy is like, what's going on? I have no clue. I don't understand. What? What about this one? He just made it through all those obstacles in the crypto space. Good for you, cat. You're hanging there. <laughs> and this one is just chilling because everything is too stressful 
in the crypto and economic world. So we have to take a nap as this dog with some friends, which is awesome to see. And we say goodbye to that. But if you want to learn Spanish, you can go to Fun on the Right, where you have this exact, exactly same show in Spanish. If you want more in English, then just wait for next crypto news, Fun on the Right, Health, Money, Love, Peace Party, Crypto and Tope. And the best is yet to come to the moon.